All right, so now as uh, strike threats escalate, one of the big three automakers is accelerating its plans towards zero carbon emissions. Stellantis has announced that it is building its second EV plant in Kokomo, Indiana. This plant is the second joint venture with Samsung. They claim that this $3.2 billion investment will create 1,400 jobs by the time production starts in 2027. And meantime, construction is already underway for Stellantis and Samsung's first EV plant, also in Kokomo. Um, as we mentioned, 14, uh, excuse me, $3.1 billion, 1,400 jobs. So all of this unfolding as UAW is pushing to unionize the big three's electric vehicle battery plants and could become a major sticking point in negotiations. Todd Dunn represents more than 8,700 workers at the Ford plant in Kentucky and joins us now live. Todd, thanks so much for making the time. Thank you very much, Natasha. First of all, what do you think of the expansion of the UAW strike? Did talks with Ford break down or was this a necessary escalation to get them to play ball? You know, I think uh, Ford Motor Company maybe came a little bit uh, complacent in where they were at. Uh, we were moving the needle uh, uh, as well as could be expected, if not better. We've got negotiators working hard uh, up north. Uh, I've got a two-time chairman, a two-time negotiator to chairman, and they make great headway, coupled with the strategy that we've had. But I think they took it for granted, you know, that uh, they had some uh, uh, open room or wiggle room. But you know, we, knowing that we've got members that's been out uh, for four weeks at Michigan assembly plant, they're hurting. We've got two weeks the Chicago assembly plant. Uh, and then now, you know, our members are out on strike and they felt pretty strongly about doing so and supporting those others uh, on strike. And, and I think this was needed. I think it was strategic uh, and it's a uh, something necessary move to get Ford Motor Company back to the table. Sure. I mean, is there a, um, it, it does seem there is a clear commitment for these automakers to transition to electric vehicle production. As of right now, how many EV plants in the U.S. Uh, are or plan to be unionized in the future? So there are several across the whole entire country. Uh, if you look at the two plants that are uh, focusing on uh, uh, in a significant manner right now uh, in Tennessee and also in Glendale, the union, our leadership, our governor, Andy Bashir, uh, did a great job at utilizing the union's leverage to get that plant uh, put into Kentucky, right, in Glendale, Kentucky. Uh, and, you know, we see the shift. A transition to electric vehicles and we have to have a footprint as those jobs are eliminated in the traditional combustion engine facilities we have to make sure that we have a, a pathway to be able to continue our jobs so that's very important for us and we know that there was a big win with general motors last week when it agreed to include ev manufacturing in their uaw agreement uh, why does it seem that other automakers are, are dragging their feet here you know, I think with uh, the, the strategy with all three of us uh, going at the same time with the big three, you know, each uh, company is utilizing different tactics. Uh, I have to focus on Ford Motor Company, obviously, right? Uh, and staying involved with that because that's what we're being transparent with our membership. We're wanting to let them know everything that's uh, coming down the line, all the work that's coming to us, the work that can be leading the way, new technology. We got to worry about the commitments to the members. I mean, we got members that are working, taking eight years to grow in. I just had a story today. I listened to a brother that uh, didn't know what he was going to do because he's living in his car at the Kentucky drug plant, taking showers in the plant because he's a new entry level employee and the pay is so low, he doesn't have a place to go. Uh, you know, and now he's welcome at our union hall. We brought him over to the hall. We're trying to help him out. So, you know, stories like that, people working two jobs. We need career jobs again. When I hired in in 81895, it was a career job. We've gotten away from that. And Bill Ford said, hey, we're family. We don't feel like family. Hmm. I appreciate you sharing those stories with us. Uh, and I, I appreciate your perspective. Todd Dunn, thank you so much for your time today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.